ahead and start, uh, Coach. Congratulations on your uh, opening statement on the win. Thank you. Um, heck of a game. Uh, certainly wasn't pretty from uh, from our end, but just I mean, really proud of our kids. It's you know they've we've had a really tough time playing them all three times this year. You know we were able to uh, sneak away with a win at their place, uh, gave them their only home loss this season. They come to our place and, and beat us to give us our only home loss and. We've just had grinded out type of games. I expected this one to be exactly the same, and um, it certainly was. We uh, just proud of our kids. I mean, just showed a lot of um, heart, just finding a way to just find a way to win and goals to get another game on our schedule, and we we certainly did that. Take questions. Go ahead. What was the uh, game plan? The idea on that last uh, offensive possession uh, from the side out. Yeah, I mean, we you know, tried to. Tried to spread the floor, just kind of went out of one of our one of our sets. Um, you know, we've had multiple situations this year where um, late in the game we've had to we we're either down or up and need to make a play. And you know, I think every one of them we put the ball in Lacey's hands and tried to space it out with with our players and have KT look at a duck in and then come up and set a step screen and let make him let Lacey uh, do what she does, which is just trust her to make make a good decision. And um, obviously. Um, it was just so tough off a ball screen and, uh, you know, stepped up and hit some huge pressure free throws. So um, just tried to put the ball in her hands and let her make a play. And uh, what can you say about uh, India Green's performance tonight? Outstanding. Sorry. Awesome. I mean, unbelievable. Really from from the jump, I, you know, I felt like I couldn't take her off the floor, which I really didn't, and I probably shouldn't have for the three minutes that I did. But um, just, I mean, was, I mean, the stat says it all. I mean, would she... Which she finished. She has 22 and 17. I mean, eight of them offensive rebounds, and um, you know, I mean, just willed us to win. I mean, several times she just came up. I don't even know how she came up with them, um, but just found a way. You know, really from the beginning of the game was just um, a monster on the glass, and you know, she's always been able to rebound. I mean, but t tonight, I mean, that certainly has to be one of her best performances, especially in such a uh, a big game and such, um, you know. A critical situation and, and tournament play, but just willed us to win. Go ahead. Uh, India and Lacey, how did the uh, mentality shift from the first uh, half to the second half? Start with uh, Lacey first, and India. Uh, I mean, that was that was our first game, you know, um, in the tournament. You know, they had a game under their belt, so we really just needed to come together, um, kind of. I think get rid of the nerves. I think we were all, you know, nervous a little bit, and that's normal whenever it comes to, you know, playing this game. Um, you play for the excitement, you play for the nerves. Uh, but we really, we really came together. Indy, you know, really led us. She got us to keep our heads, and um, I think that made a big change in the second half. Yeah, just like Lacey said. I mean, just also it helped just trusting our point guard. I mean, like we can't even run our offense without Lacey, so that helped. And then I think at halftime, just like we came together and realized, hey, it's like it's just a basketball game. We just need to calm down, trust in our offense, trust in our defense, trust in our coaches, and we'll be fine. Question in the back. Uh, question for Lacey. Congratulations on earning Newcomer of the Year. How Thank has you. the shift into the Valley been uh, this season, and how have you kind of adjusted to it? Uh, I mean, it's it's definitely been different. Um, it's been a, a bit. I wanted a challenge, you know, and that's what this was. You know, this conference is so good. Um, you look at all the top teams. Um, they're all, you know, very talented. But you know, coach and and my teammates have really helped me um, adapt and learn. And um, I've watched. We've been had lots of film set sessions with coach. And um, I think you can see from first game to this game how much she's taught me and how much my teammates have taught me. Other questions. I think we've grown a ton. I mean, you look at the course of, you know, we lost our first exhibition game, you know, before we even started our season. And, um, you know, you look at how far we've come and we, we had eight new players. Um, so it was certainly a transition trying to, um, you know, everybody kind of learn each other, not only learn how to play with each other, but learn a whole new, you know, a, a new system for many of them. And um, I think we've just continued to get better and better. Um, I still think we have a ton of room for improvement. I mean, the exciting thing is, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, we we certainly um, not taking anything away from Murray State because they make you play that way. But, you know, we certainly um, didn't really get in a flow offensively and, you know, just had some 
some errors that I think are very fixable. So it, it's great to be able to find a way to still win, even knowing like, you know, we, we still had some left on the table there and, and some things that, to clean up. So I think that's the exciting part kind of moving forward. I mean, just like Coach said, I think our exhibition game was like a slap in the face, like, hey, like, you know, no matter what team it is, you got to show up and step and play on the court. But I think just everyone just kind of bought in and really trusted in, like, what we do. And like she said, we have a lot of young players on our team, so it's exciting to see, like, the growth that we've had over the course of the season and, like, what's to come for, you know, next season and years on. So I think it's really exciting. Like, I really like playing with this team. Like, it's a, group, a good group of girls, and it's just fun. And, like, the coaching staff is just fun. It's, like, it's a really good group. Any other questions for our student athletes or coach? On the Lacey, you stepped up to the front <laughs> in the last little bit. What's going through your head with the game in your hands? Uh, make them. I mean, you can't think of anything other than that. Put them in. Me and Coach actually, literally before we left, shot free throws together, and she asked me what I thought about it, and I was like, well, and she was like, just think about making them. Just think make it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So that's what I did. Go ahead. Also, what are your thoughts about uh, tomorrow's uh, semifinal match against Belmont? Yeah, honestly, I haven't thought too much too much about it yet. You know, you, you can't I always tell our kids, you know, you can't get too far ahead and you can't dwell on the past and you just got to stay in the moment. So, um, you know, I think uh, obviously we had, you know, we, we split games with them. Um, they handled us pretty, pretty easily at their place and we were able to come back and, and played pretty well against them at our place. So obviously split games, but uh, very well coached team. Um, you know, Bart does a great job. A very talented team. They present a lot of problems for us. Um, I'm just glad that we we can now think about uh, having them, you know, to prepare for to, for tomorrow. Because certainly, um, haven't really thought about that at this point. Just want to get another game on our schedule. But um, you know, looking forward to the opportunity. It'll be it'll certainly be a battle. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you. Oh, did you see what you shot before the court? I did not. Eighty-seven. Seven. 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 Do we want help? So, Lynn, okay, uh, I'd like to have an opening statement from your coach, please. Yeah, uh, congratulations, Missouri State. Uh, Hard-fought game. Uh, they made the free throws and they made the shots and got the off offensive rebounds when they needed to, so you always want to give credit where credit's due. Beth does an amazing job with that program and that team, but I'm pretty proud of my kids. Uh, tough night. Uh, we, uh, you know, found out just a little bit before the game that, you know, Hannah wasn't going to be able to go. Uh, she's day-to-day. And that was tough, but you know we just got together and we said all year long we we've been about each other and for each other, and we're going to do whatever we have to do. And if you have to play out of position, you're going to play out of position. And little did, did we know we were going to play out of position pretty much the whole fourth quarter. But the effort and heart of these these young women is why I do this. It's what brings me to work every single morning. Um, couldn't be more proud of our team. Couldn't be more proud of our seniors and, and what they've done for our program this year in the second year in the Valley. I mean, what a jump. What an amazing run that, that they have made. And I don't believe we're done yet. I think there'll be more basketball for, for, for this bunch. But uh, um, I love our kids. I love their fight. I love who they are. And I couldn't be more proud. Take questions? Go ahead. Uh, Coach, what was the uh, idea of the game plan or the, the play for uh, – Set up on that last possession. Well, if they fronted, we wanted to throw the lob, you know, one point, 
whatever seconds seven. there was uh, seven. Thank you. Um, and uh, they didn't front. And then you know that's 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 a hard catch score over over a big. And I mean we executed. You know she we did the best we could. But you know it didn't come down the final play. Just like I told Britt, it didn't come down to her free throw. We missed plenty. That you know every one of them counts the same. I try to tell our kids that the first free throw of the game and the last free throw of the game still count one point. So it didn't it didn't come down to that. But you know we gave everything that we had in the fourth quarter. And so we got the free throw line, our legs were tired. We're an 80% free throw shooting team, and we missed a lot. But that, that's uncommon. But it was because we, we left it all on the floor. This was our championship game, and that's what I told them. We're playing this as it's our championship. I don't, you know, we just got to, we, if we can advance, we'll figure it out. You know, with, with, limited, uh, with, with limited people, we're used to having a lot more depth. But um, we were trying to get it to Ava there on the lob, just try to get something quick or, you know, may, may, maybe get to the foul line again. The question in the back on the right. Rochelle, no Hannah, Caitlin fouls out with nine and a half left. Um, just describe what you saw from the fight from your kids and with, with kids that Desmond Thomas, kids that haven't played big minutes in crucial stuff. Right. Well, we decided at that point we had to go back to the system. And win, lose, or draw, we had to get after them. And Destiny is the absolute best at the top of our trap. So I knew she could help us. I knew she could play. The other things that she did, amazing, for a freshman to come off the bench and play that way. We had, you know, three freshmen on the floor some of the part of the time in the fourth quarter. You know, but our senior leadership allows us to do that because they have done such a good job at helping them be ready for these moments. And so we just went all out, full court pressure. I mainly had four guards, and we just did a great job. And, um, and I really, really thought – that we were like one rebound away. and uh, But again, the effort that they put in in the last quarter to get us back in the game, uh, eventually take the lead. And then, uh, you know, what do you expect Lacey Stokes to do? You expect her to make a play. She's an outstanding player. She's one of the best guards in mid-major basketball, not just our conference. So you expect her to make a play, went to the line, made two big free throws. And, uh, and we just weren't able to overcome uh, the loss of Caitlin and Hannah and, uh, you know, not enough depth there at the end. Question in the back, standing up. Coach, it's hard to be upset with your group after the fight that they showed in the fourth. What do you tell your team after a game like that? I said head up, you know. Uh, I think, what is it? Um, I'm almost more proud of them than I would have been if we'd won the game. Because this is who we are. This is who they are. And, you know, I got the technical because I'm always going to fight for the kids. I'm always going to fight for the kids. And I want them to know I have their back. But because I let them know I have theirs, they play that hard for me. And that's how this works. This is a relationship-based program, and it's never going to be any different. So, again, super proud of the fight that they showed, the courage that they showed. Great ambassadors for Murray State University on and off the floor. I'm proud to be the coach of this team. Go ahead. And you also, uh, you were mentioning about rebounding. What can you tell me about uh, Lacey Stokes, who had that? Uh, Army India Green, who had uh, 22 points and uh, 17 rebounds. She's good. I mean, she she's outstanding. She's big. She stepped out on the floor and made some shots, and I believe she banked a three in, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, that was their only three of the game. I thought we did an outstanding job of, uh, of limiting their three opportunities. Defensively, maybe one of the best defensive games we played all year. We're not very good at defense. We're number one in offense in the league, number 11 of 12 in, on defense. But this week, we were a defensive team. We really got after them, followed the scout, got physical with them. But, I mean, you know, she's just a really, really good player, and she is a load to block out. And I, and I know that, uh, that we did everything we could. A lot, of time we, a lot of times we had four guards on the floor. But our kids were in there fighting and pushing. But I mean, she's just a really good player. you got to give her credit. We go to the back, then the aisle. You mentioned the physicality of the game. Obviously, the technical foul from you but – I'm sure you were upset by some of the calls tonight. A lot of them, um, a lot of fouls called. What were your thoughts on the officiating? Did it impact the outcome of tonight? There's no excuses. Our kids played hard. Uh, would never take away from what our kids did by putting any blame on anybody. It's, it's the way the ball bounces. It's, it's the way it goes. I th we got some calls. They got some calls. I, I don't think that affected the game in a way that I would take anything away from what these young ladies and the other 13 in our locker room did by talking about that. On the aisle. Since you guys are so young in this conference, how are you guys going to use this experience to help you guys out in the future? Well, I think every time you get on this floor, every time you get this opportunity, it grows your program. And this senior class has made this program 
be competitive in the second year of the league. Can't say enough about our seniors, and I think that we grow and we learn from this and we get better from this. Do we want to be playing tomorrow? Absolutely. I would give about anything I had to put this Murray State uniform back on tomorrow and be, be you know, playing against Belmont. But it, that's not, it wasn't meant to be tonight. But because of who they are and what they've done and how we've changed the culture and the landscape of this program, we're going to be better for this experience. Sometimes you have to go through hard times to get to the good times, and you never understand why things happen. I'm a big everything happens for a reason type person, but there's a reason this happened tonight, and we're going to be better for it. Questions for student athletes? Go ahead. Hey, Brother Bria, can you guys just describe the steps that this program took this year? Start with Bria, the neighbor. Um, I think this year we made big steps. Um, like she said, to have freshmen come in, three freshmen in the game, um, that just shows how diverse you are. And I'm so proud of my team. Um, I couldn't ask for a better team. Um, we play hard. They play hard. It was an overall great game. But congratulations to them. Yeah, um, coming in um, as a transfer, I was definitely a little, a little worried as every transfer was. But everyone was so reassuring, and we all really just bought into what we wanted to do, and we definitely executed throughout the season. Our um, record shows it, and I do really like. I told Destiny every time she won the free throw, I believe in her because like that's a hard situation to be in as a freshman, let let alone any other person. But I just knew that we were all going to work our butts off and do the best that we could to just win. And like Coach kept saying, it just unfortunately wasn't our night. Standing up, go ahead. As a senior, how important is it for you to get an opportunity to play again not in the postseason? Um, it's important, but it's not that important. I'm, like I said, I'm proud of what we did today. If today was to be the last game, I would be proud of my team and the organization and, you know, the program. Um, so it's important. I, like, I would want to put on his jersey again. I hope I can. Um, but if not, I wouldn't be disappointed if that was my last game. Ava, just four blocks again tonight. Uh, just you seem to have evolved in that shot blocking rim protection in the last couple of games. What is what – is, change for you that, that seems to be, has become such a strength for you here in the last couple of weeks? Um, I'm going to be honest. I kind of just hope it it's not a foul <laughs> when I go up for it. <laughs> um, but I've definitely like worked on my timing a little bit, but still, honestly, every time I kind of say a Hail Mary to God that it's not going to be a foul. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Great job. Appreciate it.